Tree of Heaven, Alanthus autissima, is an invasive tree to the United States, native to China and Taiwan. Historically, Tree of Heaven was introduced for ornamental purposes, but fell out of favor due to its fast growth rate and negative impacts, such as crowding out native and desirable plants. Tree Heaven is listed as a Class C noxious weed in Washington. It is also listed on WSDA's quarantine list, which prohibits the sale and trade. Tree Heaven has a new potential negative impact as being the preferred host plant for spotted lanternfly, a pest that if established in Washington can cause great harm to our agricultural crops, notably grapes and hops. As of fall 2022, spotted lanternfly is not known to be in Washington, but it is expected to make its way here. Given Tree of Heaven being the preferred host plant for spotted lanternfly, it is critical to correctly identify Tree of Heaven and record where Tree of Heaven is growing in Washington so that we can plan and strategize control efforts, prioritizing areas that are at high risk for spotted lanternfly introduction. Let's review some traits helpful for identifying Tree of Heaven. First is its smell. Tree Heaven can have a stinky, pungent, peanut butter, popcorn-like smell. Tree Heaven can grow up to 80 feet tall or sometimes taller and has light gray, fairly smooth bark. The bark can develop a shallow diamond pattern and can look similar to cantaloupe skin. Tree Heaven twigs have leaf scars, which is where the leaf was previously attached and they are heart-shaped. Tree Heaven has alternately arranged, pinnately compound leaves meaning that the Tree Heaven leaf is divided into a number of leaflets that are arranged along a stem called a rachis. Each Tree Heaven leaf has typically 10 to 40 leaflets, with suckering growth having larger leaves. The Tree Heaven leaflet is one and a half to six inches long and has a tapered pointed tip. The leaflet edges are smooth, except at the base there are some rounded teeth with on the underside a bump, which is actually a gland. Leaflet edges are a very helpful trait for identification. Male and female flowers occur on separate trees. They are small, yellowish green, and are in open clusters. Female tree heaven flowers develop a samara, a single seed surrounded by a papery wing that is slightly twisted and one to two inches long. Samaras start out as green, and can develop a reddish color, and then eventually are a light tan to brown. Clusters of Samaras can be seen on the trees from fall through the winter. Tree Heaven spreads by suckering roots and from stump sprouts, as well as by seed. Mature female trees can produce hundreds of thousands of seeds a year. We have a number of plants that can look similar to Tree Heaven in Washington notably black walnut and sumac. Black walnut is a non-native deciduous tree that has alternately arranged compound leaves. The bark of black walnut is brown to gray-black and has furrows. Tree heaven bark is light gray and fairly smooth. The leaflets of black walnut have serrated or toothed edges and no glands at the base, whereas tree heaven's leaflets have smooth edges with rounded teeth and glands at the base. The fruit of black walnut is comprised of a round greenish husk surrounding a walnut. It is about one and a half to two inches in diameter. Tree Heaven's fruit is a Samara, a single seed surrounded by a papery wing that is slightly twisted. Smooth and staghorn sumac are sumac species in Washington that may be confused with Tree Heaven. These sumacs have alternately arranged compound leaves and have leaflets with serrated or toothed edges. Tree Heaven, remember, has leaflets with smooth edges and rounded teeth with glands at the base. These sumac have flowers in upright clusters and have male and female flowers on separate plants. Female plants develop tight clusters of upright, rounded, hairy red fruits that remain on the plant from fall till spring. Smooth sumac is native to eastern Washington and has shrubby growth growing up to about 10 feet tall. Staghorn sumac is not native to Washington, but it is planted ornamentally. Its growth is densely hairy, like a deer's antler, hence its name, staghorn sumac. This sumac has shrubby growth to a small tree and grows 15 to 20 feet tall.
tree heaven grows in a variety of habitats in Washington, including next to streams, rivers, and lakes, disturbed habitats such as edges of parking lots, roadsides, and by railroad tracks, woodland edges, parks, and yards. Tree heaven is found throughout Washington state, with a higher amount documented in eastern Washington. This map shows the current distribution of tree heaven as of fall 2022. Residents in Washington are encouraged to report Tree of Heaven. Tree of Heaven is actually an invasive weed in the state of Washington. The other thing about Tree of Heaven is that it's a common host plant of the invasive pest spotted lanternfly. If you suspect to see Tree of Heaven, it's really important that you report it. When reporting, if possible, take a picture and note the location to send in with your report. There are several ways to report Tree of Heaven, but going online to Washington Invasive Species Council is your best bet. They even have a mobile app you can use to download straight from your phone or tablet. Try to control Tree Heaven when it is small, before its large root system develops. Larger plants and trees will require herbicide application for successful control. Just mowing or cutting stems and stumps will not provide control, and in fact, you will have re-sprouts occur. Contact your County Noxious Weed Control Board to discuss the best control options for your plants. You can also contact your WSU Extension Office and Conservation District for advice as well. <laughs> 